whenever the spirit moves you, take a deep breath. And begin. So we are all different in some way or another, and that's what makes this world an interesting place. We're all equal and amazing in our own way. Now, when my nephew Elijah was diagnosed with autism at the age of two, I remember the world just crushing down on all of us, and we just felt helpless, and it was just a bump on the road that we needed to face. And I remember coming home that day and doing all the research that I needed to do to know what autism was and being more concerned about it. Um, knowing the information I know now, Begin with, I want to describe what autism is. And autism is a developmental disability caused by birth abnormalities. Now, in 2014, the CDC states that one out of 42 boys are diagnosed with autism, and one out of 89 girls are diagnosed with autism. Now, usually autism is seen in girls more severe than boys. Um, for boys, it's usually a high functioning autism or more moderate. For girls, it's usually more severe, so you need more, more therapy, more medication. Um, now, what autism is, it's a difficulties in social interaction, verbal and nonverbal communication, and repetitive behaviors. Um, those developing autism have um, a very hard time forming relationships with other people that's, you know, at, at any age for them. Now, there has been an increase of autism between 10 to 17% since 2010. Now, there is statistics state that there are 3 million individuals Now, scientists are unsure of what causes autism, but many state and suspect that the vaccine for the measles is what has caused autism. Now, the vaccine for the measles has a mercury, and that mercury is toxic to, is toxic to the central nervous system. Now, it's also genetic, so if one family member has it, it's possibly another three who pass it down. Now, there is a 50% chance that if one sibling has it, the second sibling could have it too. It's a 50 50, so it's a risk. Now that I explain what autism is, next I will talk about the signs of autism. Now every child is different and every child develops differently and in their own pace. Now the warning signs can be seen as early as 12 months. Now at 12 months, if you don't see me falling, making eye contact, and using skills, you can't stand and you can't play empty. That should be a red flag for you to use contact with your nutrition. Mm -hmm. Some others find that 18 months would be not walking, no vocabulary, no eye contact, using skills, and not familiar. Now, usually at the age of two, that is when autism is diagnosed. Now, at the age of two, they will lack gross mm -hmm. motor skills. That would be holding a bottle, holding a spoon, holding a toy. Next, they won't use two word phrases. They would be less than 50 with vocabulary, and they can't follow simple rules. And once again, they avoid eye contact and do not respond to their name. Now, there's also self stimulatory behavior, and that would be considered hand flapping, staring at lights, sliding up toys with wheels and spinning in circles. There is also inflexibility, and that is stress and difficulty to adapting to change or to schedule an environment. An example would be my nephew Elijah, when he was three, he had to have a whiteboard, and that whiteboard had to be scheduled for things done that day. So there was waking up, eating breakfast, brushing teeth, getting to school, going to the store, going to market, he needed to know what was on that list. Now, if something went out of the usual, meaning going to the park instead of the grocery store, Stress, you would be upset, you would throw tantrum. Mm -hmm. So, whatever the schedule was, we needed to follow that regardless of what the situations were. Um, he also had an obsession with objects and watching the wheels spin on his toy cars. He had an obsession to line up his toys perfectly in a perfect line. Um, at the age of two, during your checkup, um, the doctor, the pediatrician will recommend you an egg chat if there are any concerns, and that would be what is up on the board. Now, it's just a series of questions that your pediatrician will give you that you must fill out. Um, obviously, you select yes or no. Um, once you give that to your doctor or your pediatrician, they will look over that evaluation and see if you need your child to be evaluated by a neurologist or a psychologist. Mm -hmm. So these are just basic questions. Um, if you might think your child is deaf or they don't point at certain objects, um, if they use unusual finger movements, um, do they point at things that something is interesting? Are they interested in interacting with other children? Do they bring objects to you? Do they respond to your name? Do they make eye contact? Okay. So 
now that I explained to you the signs of autism, I next want to talk about the treatments for autism. Now, each child and individual is unique, so each autism intervention in time should be addressed to their specific needs. Now, early intervention includes ABA applied behavior analysis, and that focuses on the principles that explain um, how learning takes place, positive and meaningful behavior. Now, that will give improvements in communication and social skills. The next one is speech language speech language therapy and that coordinates the mechanics of speech. Now usually this will be done in one one on one or group settings, depending on how severe the child is. If the child is has if the child is severe then we do one on one one on one setting. However the child is high um, high functioning those do a group setting with other individuals. There's also occupational therapy and that is in cognitive, physical and motor skills. So these this therapy will basically teach you how to brush your teeth, how to tie their shoes, mm -hmm. how to dress, how to brush their hair. Um, there's also called CAM, which is a complementary and alternative medicine. Now there is a 30%, 30 to 95% of individuals receive this kind of treatment. So it's an alternative medicine. So you can either take omega-3, which is, helps with the development and the function of the brain, also B12, which reduces the stress. And um, they don't recommend medication because of the fact that there are side effects and there's addiction, especially at such a young age. Usually with autism, we also see depression, epilepsy, schizophrenia, bipolar, mm -hmm. and ADHD. Now, Elijah, my nephew, did receive treatment. He received speech and language therapy. He received OT, which is occupational therapy, APA. He received therapy between 20 to 25 to 40 hours a week. He does go to a school called the Health Group, and that's the Sherman Oaks, and it's a school for children with special needs like him. He's improved dramatically, and when he's nine years old, and he's probably me with my homework. <laughs> so, I mean, he's just a great bright child that many people would say like I, I can't even tell you know there's anything wrong with him. Um, now now that I explain the signs of autism, the treatments and what autism is, um, um, well actually going to the diagnosis and treatment for my nephew Elijah it has been a big impact in my life and in my family's life. It's because of him that I am standing here today explaining to you what autism is. After speaking to all of you about autism, what autism is, and the signs and treatments, I hope I brought a breeze to you. Um, Michelle, I just wrote uh, at the bottom of your paper, I want you to know this, that you were so well-spoken and poised on this topic. It is so obvious that you are 